Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am back with the first day of Inktober. I completed this yesterday and um, I am hoping to stay on track with Inktober this year. I thought I would maybe post a little video every day but I was talked out of it because I don't want to hate myself by the end of October. <laughs> and so what I'm gonna do is for my drawings that are a little more involved or ones that I really like, I will be posting those as videos. And then some smaller, more doodle kind of Inktober days, I will just compile them and maybe uh, once a week or every other week or something then I can, I can post the smaller illustrations. So in this um, first day of Inktober, if um, you don't know, there is an official prompt list and the first prompt is ring. So I did a witch girl ringing a bell and all of my, not all of my drawings are going to reflect that official list. Some of them I'm just gonna draw what I feel like drawing and I do have some sketches that I've done previously um, or in preparation that way I can I can help myself stay on track a little maybe that's cheating I don't know I don't really care <laughs> I think that um, this is just a good habit to get into in the first place and if I need to start a little early to help myself prepare then I think I think that is totally fine so in this um, this year's Inktober, I've actually never completed Inktober, so I'm, I'm hoping that I can actually complete this year, but I uh, bought some new supplies, or one new supply, and that's this fountain pen you see me using here. It is like just a cheap fountain pen I got off Amazon. It's I want to say it's a brand like Wing Sung or something like that. It's it's just a no name brand. It was like twelve dollars or fourteen dollars for a pack of four of them, and they're not. I mean, let me preface this with I am not an expert on fountain pens, but it is not like the greatest fountain pen. It's like four dollars a pen or less. <laughs> so. They actually have a pretty fine line and it just, it takes it a little bit to start getting. Sorry if you can hear my dog barking. I apologize. But it takes it a little bit to start getting like the ink to flow. But once it starts flowing, it, it is pretty nice and the, the lines are, are pretty thin so that it's easy to sketch with. I think that... I might look into other fountain pens for for drawing. I just I I don't know a lot about them, so I don't really know where to start. So if that's something that you are knowledgeable about, then please leave a comment in in the in the comments below. I would really be interested in trying some. Hopefully nothing too expensive. I've read some reviews on some really expensive ones that are really nice for drawing, but um I, I just I want to try them out. I I'm also using uh, my trusty Kuratake number no. thirteen brush pen. I use that to fill in all the blacks and then to make some of the lines a little bit more bold. But I figured I would try a new tool for this this illustration and uh, maybe learn learn something a little new because I love inking and uh, I haven't done nib like dip dip pens and nibs in a while and since my desk is at an angle I figured it would be a little difficult and a fountain pen would be a, f a perfect solution for that. The paper I am using is the B Creative Marker Journal in the smaller size I think it's five and a half by eight and a half and the paper is so incredibly smooth. I have not drawn on paper this smooth since I was studying comic art in college and was using plate finish Bristol. That's how smooth this is. This is like the smoothest paper 
other than like a plate finish Bristol. It's it's incredible. I absolutely 110% recommend it. I wish it came in more than just the eight and a half by 11 and the five by five by eight and a half size because it's, oh, I love it. I love it so much. It is a little pricey, but totally worth it, especially for doing inks. I really like that smooth, velvety texture when I'm inking. It just makes everything glide and oh, just is so nice. It's so nice. So I don't really have much more to say about this drawing other than I had a, a lot of fun drawing it and uh, adding little details. And this one, it definitely is more of an illustration type. Um, some of them are just going to be like doodles and portraits and, and that. But it was really fun to really start the month off with, with a bang and use some really heavy blacks and really get that comic book feel that I really haven't utilized in in quite a while. So I, I'm very happy with, with how this turned out, especially since I did this in probably, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half or so, um, not including the sketching, but I, I, I'm very pleased with how it turned out and I hope that you guys also enjoyed it. Feel free to um, check me out on all my other social media and don't forget to hit subscribe to see my other Inktober posts as well as other artwork. I have a painting in the works so hopefully you guys will be seeing that soon as well. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.